The Maritime Academy of Nigeria, formerly known and addressed as the Nautical College of Nigeria, was established in 1977 by the Federal Executive Conclusion Number EC77172 with assistance from the International Maritime Organization IMO. It was established as a training institution under the Research and Statistics Department of the Federal Ministry of Transport. It was declared open for classes on the 6th of October 1979 to educate and train shipboard officers, ratings, and shore-based management personnel. The first batch of cadets graduated in 1983. In 1988, the institution was given a legal framework through the then Decree No. 6, and now known as the Maritime Academy Act, that comprehensively documented what the institution stands for, in which the college's mandate was expanded to training all levels and categories of personnel for all facets of the Nigerian maritime industry. When you go around the academy, you see many, many of the projects being completed and of high standard. And that is one thing I will give to the director. Currently, we have uh, the School of Nautical Science, the School of Engineering, the School of Maritime Transport Studies, and of course, the Specialized Seafarers Training Center. Follow the galley. Put your left leg forward. Raise your hand up. The Specialized Seafarers Training Center is the arm of the Maritime Academy of Nigeria, responsible for the training of seafarers, both ratings and officers. The center runs professional training courses for both intending seafarers and those already employed on board ship and in shipping and other related organizations. Two survivor pools with roof covering have been provided for safety training in the Maritime Academy of Nigeria. For anyone who wants to come into our school, you will need a five credit courses, to minim minimum of two sittings in English language, mathematics, geography, commerce, accounting, allied courses in the social sciences. Basically, that's what you need, but five credits in this, uh, in these areas that we've we'll just mentioned now. Our school is uh, what we call a double barrel uh, academy program packaged for cadets so that they can be versatile. The ICT department manages the smart classroom with all the infrastructures installed therein. Beside the smart classroom, we also have the ICT center here where cadets come for their training and other research. In fact, it, is, uh, it will interest you to note that the Academy has a collaboration with the Nautical Institute and from time to time cadets come to the ICT Centre for their online lectures with the Nautical Institute. We also have the e-library. By that, uh, access to research material has been further made very easy for the cadets as they go in, surf the library and get adequate research materials for their training. Most significant of Commodore Duja Efedwa's infrastructural and learning aids renewal in the academy is the installation of the state-of-the-art simulators. This singular achievement will save the federal government a lot of money hitherto spent sending people abroad. Thus, the academy has been positioned to be a revenue earner for the government and a reference point in the training of seafarers in the region. We have the full mission bridge simulator now. We have the full mission engine room and we have the multifunctional classroom. Now the multifunctional classroom it's um, it's is the latest now is is the latest in the world of simulation because there are eight simulators embedded in one. Whatever you see here, even some of them don't even have what we have right now. Because in the world, we're about the sixth country to have this type of simulators here in the academy. Like in Africa, we are on top now in terms of equipment. 
because nobody has a multifunctional classroom. And Mauritania just bought a full mission bridge and full mission engine room simulators, but they are smaller versions of what we have. So we didn't want to go for that small one. Let's go for the real thing so that here will be more attractive to generate revenue for us. The international world, the maritime world will know that yeah, there's something here in Nigeria. So those of them in West Africa, Central Africa, instead of them going abroad, they may come here. And we're already providing hostels for them, we make them like two star where they can come and stay while they're doing their courses. And for the other schools in Nigeria, the maritime training providers who don't have the money to buy simulators, we can accommodate them. When it's time for simulation, they can send their cadets this way. And um, we accommodate them, give them their training, issue their certificates. Staff of the institution are happy with this development. They now go about their duties with satisfaction and a degree of pride. This sentiment is also shared by cadets of the academy who now enjoy the use of smart classrooms, good accommodation, free learning materials, and most of all, can have practical experience right there with the simulator. Now, we have a separate apartment for the laboratory unit, separate apartment for male ward, separate apartment for female ward, and private ward that now we can work comfortably. We have two sound ambulance buses for emergency cases, and we run 24 hour service in health services. There is no hour of the day you come here without seeing people on duty, doctors inclusive. So, in terms of emergency, we are well equipped. Books, computers, and smart classrooms for teaching and learning have been provided. Laptops and reference books have been given to the cadets for free to enhance their studies. For infrastructure, we have the best anybody can imagine. For example, our classrooms are now smart. Um, hostels now all in suit, two to one. Staff quarters, okay. Roads, fine. Power, no problem with that. Because after sunset, solar takes over. If you check the cadets who are turning out now, you cannot compare them with their with the, with the S cadets of before. There are two different sets of people. This one, they have more facilities, they are more focused and they are more confident. Maritime Academy of Nigeria, Oron, has witnessed remarkable change, and Nigeria is the better for it. Mm.